Hey Cougars, you're about to watch my interview with the Powerlifting Club. I do want to say though that we did have some audio difficulties, so I apologize for that, but I hope you enjoy the interview. What's up Cougars, I'm Naughty Hunani, back with another Sports Club highlight, and today I'm with some of the strongest students here on campus, the Powerlifting Club. And I am here, and I have the pleasure of speaking with the officers of the Powerlifting Club. Uh, hi there, my name is Ryan Hawkins, and I am the treasurer of the Powerlifting Club. My name is Carissa, and I'm the president of the Powerlifting Club. Hi, my name's Alyssa, and I'm the VP of the Powerlifting Club. Awesome. Okay, so the Powerlifting Club is a relatively new competitive sports club here on campus. Talk to me about how it got its start. So the Powerlifting Club got started by a group of people. There was like four dudes actually just lifting in the gym together. Um, they were really strong and they'd kind of like gravitate towards those like other strength parts. Um, it was in 2017 and from what I know I came in in, in the middle of that year. Um, they were trying to get official and I came on as an officer um, with another, we had another three men that were on the team as well. And then with them, we were able to finally get everything started, of course, with the help of Ryan Groth, the Sports Club Director. We, it took a lot of finding an advisor and figuring out the group. We had about 11 members at the time. Um, you only need five to be a sports club, so we were definitely in the clear there. It just took the year of doing the paperwork and figuring out how we were gonna function with powerlifting meets, and so just sort. Awesome, awesome, okay. So you guys talk about how powerlifting club isn't your average weightlifting club. Talk to me about the importance of that and just kind of elaborate on what that means. When we speak on an average weightlifting club, what we mean is just people that go to the gym and work out, which is amazing, and we love to see it, but we want to we always want to emphasize that we are a competitive sports club, so we compete in powerlifting. We always train the three basic movements of powerlifting, which are going to be your squat, your bench, and your deadlift. We do accessory movements that help build those, but when we compete, which is about once a semester, those are the only three movements that we perform. So as opposed to just going to the gym and doing my best and working out on those things, I specific, like we all will specifically go and train those three compound lifts mm -hmm. every single week. Awesome, okay, so you touched on the type of lifts that you guys compete in at the events. What do those events look like? What are the competitions? What type of other schools are you guys facing? Yeah, so we compete in a lot of local meets, so we just competed last weekend in San Jose, so not too far away, and then we'll have a bigger one in um, nationals usually, so we'll compete one in the fall usually, and then one or two in the spring, depending on if we go to nationals or not. And nationals this year is in Texas, we went to uh, Chicago last year, it's been in Ohio before, kind of all over the place, so we have the option, depending on your qualifying totals, we'll have a set of qualifying totals, and then you'll be able to go if you hit that qualifying total at a local meet. Um, and those are the same thing, like we said, you go through the squat, bench, deadlift, um, and you, know, you go through the three lifts, every single, you have three lifts for each one, so you get three squat, three bench, three deadlift, and that's pretty much the competition. So, do you guys each have, tell me your favorite event to compete in, like which one is your favorite? My favorite is definitely deadlifts, okay. deadlifts my favorite. Deadlifts are great because they're at the end, you have to do all three lifts. Um, my favorite lift is definitely bench. Mine squats. Squats. Okay. <laughs> okay. Talk to us about the banner that you have back here. Tell me about the significance of it. So the biggest significance about this banner we have is that we competed in the first collegiate meet that California has had for powerlifting. Um, so it was only us against San Jose, which seems pretty small for like, as opposed to nationals, where we will go and try to compete against like I don't so many schools like one from every a couple from every state um this one the coach there and our officers we put together this meet we tried to get other teams involved but it's just really difficult to be able to make the trip and everything so it just ended up being us against san jose and we didn't even know really how team scoring went because it's such a new like criteria competing as a team as opposed to the normal meets that are individualized um and so we did our best and our women's team actually ended up winning. So that was really awesome for our first collegiate meet. That is awesome. And you said it was the first collegiate meet in California? Yeah. That's awesome. That's really, that's cool. really cool. So powerlifting is a pretty individual sport. 
how does team spirit, how is that incorporated in the club and how important is that to how each member performs? Yeah, so team spirit is super big with us, um, you know, cheering on your team. I think this sport, you can get wrapped up really quickly in yourself. I mean, and then it is all about, you know, you. It doesn't really come down to, like, soccer. You obviously have to work together to get that, you know, end goal. Versus here, it really does come down to how well you individually do. So we do try as a team. We've worked really hard. Chris has been here, obviously, longer. We've been here for a year, so we try our best. But just being collaborative, being a team, going to team dinners, and kind of building that team bonding that we want. And having people in the section when you're not lifting, cheering each other on. And I think that's where the big like spirit comes in because when I do my lift and I know they can relate too, you want your team cheering you on. You love when you, get, you do your lift and you have someone on the sidelines cheering you on. So that's like a really big part of all of us is making sure that we're all there to celebrate each other's success. I love that, okay. So I kind of have an idea of how important like that team culture is to the overall culture of the club. Could you touch on how you experience that culture, what it looks like. If anybody who is interested in joining powerlifting, what could they expect? I think if you're interested in joining powerlifting, that I really think like you really have to get used to like the three main lifts at first. Like it's a whole different type of training style than kind of just going normally to the gym. Like you really want to start prioritizing the squat, bench, and deadlift, and. Um, I think also like what we kind of look for is like we we want you to be motivated and dedicated to the sport. Like we also want, like look for you like a good mood and everything. Like with powerlifting or just any sort of weightlifting in general, that could be super intimidating for somebody who doesn't have any experience with weightlifting. Um, and then just to build that confidence in the gym, how do you guys you know foster that confidence here at the powerlifting? I think we have a really great and supporting environment here. Um, we have amazing coaches. We have right now we have two coaches. Uh, one, his name is Kurt Navarro. Amazing coach. This is his second year with us, and he is super supportive. You could text him any time of the day, send him your videos, and he is super supportive. Um, we also just brought on an existing member named Albert. Um, amazing guy, super nice. He will take the time to get to know you, and like you could literally tell him anything and like he'll be super supportive i think also like just everyone else like we all want each other to succeed so i think that's just really important for our environment and like really helps our club just grow in overall that's awesome so there's a confidence aspect of it but there's also how you perform is there any sort of like technique that you guys work on i know form is a really really important thing when it comes to lifting is that something that you guys touch on the importance of that as well as i guess it's a two-part question like the nutrition because it's not just lifting it's how you're taking care of your body outside of the gym so one thing that we do to make sure to emphasize that on the form especially with newbies that are coming in and just figuring out what powerlifting is and they've seen people in the gym and they might have certain ideas and stuff like that but we have a like our head coach Kurt is a nationally ranked powerlifter he's top th he's third in his weight class he's very strong very knowledgeable has been a coach for years for all sorts of other teams and when they come in here we always emphasize we do not care how much weight is on the bar we do not care how much you lift if you are the you could be the strongest person on this campus and come down for this team and if you're not respectful and coachable then it's not the type of atmosphere that we've been working so hard to build mm -hmm. so because powerlifting is one of those sports that if there's someone messing around and being they're being slightly disrespectful in that sort of sense it's going to affect everyone's mood mm -hmm. so due to that due to us setting the precedence and having an officer team that is on such board with that mm -hmm. concept every single person we have on this team is supportive and everyone that we want to come out we try to be very inclusive and like straight up from the beginning so they're not just like thinking that they're gonna have to come out and max out because we don't want them to be do something that they're not ready for we want them to be comfortable and confident in themselves and their lifts before they're actually gonna perform I love that I really love that so is there any sort of I guess like vetting process that you guys have to kind of get a general idea of you know I guess the personality of people who are coming in how do tr what do tryouts look like because I'm sure from just our conversation right now there are people that are interested in wanting to come in and you know find a community here on campus and they could get that here through the powerlifting club we run our tryouts by our well our coach runs them and then all of the returners um, 
and officers are helping there with with the new lifters and seeing we have them just do a little questionnaire like what are your goals and everything but our biggest thing is we run those three days and if people are showing that supportiveness that that energy to where it's like they want other people to succeed just as much as they want themselves then no question we have net we had to make cuts unfortunately this year because we don't have enough plates we run out of them <laughs> and so we're limited in space but working on getting more but we tried to do our best to make sure that we took Ever, we ended up being able to actually bring on anyone that we cutted at the beginning mm -hmm. um, and just were upfront about like the requirements and the volunteer hours and stuff like that that can be a little bit taxing on you when you have school and other things and so many other commitments um, but we just are able to see really with people we do our best judge as like students and especially because we are student ran and student funded mm -hmm. we have to make that call and so we had to do cuts but we don't we usually by the end of the semester always have open spots and whenever people come out they'll come out and ask any one of us if they could join and and obviously we have to close our roster but we let them know like mm -hmm. we would love for you to come out and lift with us if you're going to like be respectful of our culture we'd love to have you around so let's get you started and like these are our requirements for being a part of the club because our big thing is you could be a power lifter anywhere but to be a part of our team we represent our school we go to nationals and we have so many other things more than just being maxing out every day we're we're students and we try to like emphasize on that bringing that like happy and healthy culture to everyone's life so whether it's their lifting their nutrition their school they got we try to make everyone healthy in all senses that's amazing so you guys are helping to grow students not just you know where they are on the on the mat I guess essentially or at the gym or when they're lifting it's the culture outside of that and wh who they are in the classroom essentially who they are at home and you just bring all of that here we try that's awesome that's awesome how big is the powerlifting club the powerlifting club is now 30 members at the moment we can get up to 35 is really what the capacity is and what having two coaches can handle out here um, we'd love to grow and work with people with the best to keep those numbers as high as possible and looking at trying to get more equipment it just just takes time mm -hmm. awesome well all three of you are seniors and your journey here at CSUSM is shortly going to come to an end what does or where do you see the powerlifting club growing from here and where do you hope to and how do you hope to leave your legacy on campus <laughs> Sorry. We are just you. Okay. do you want to say it again or no, you go ahead. <laughs> um, I would say that we've worked really hard. Um, I think there were a couple of struggles as far as coming back from COVID. Um, I came onto the team, first team back from COVID, and it was a lot. You know, there's a lot of different officer changes. Uh, I know Ryan came in kind of to save the day um, as far as officers coming on and off, and um, I came on this year as VP. Um, and I think for all of us, we've really worked hard to create a team that cares about each other and wants to continue to grow this. and. We're working to hopefully put on our own meets at some point and not have to go to other schools to do this, to be able to rent out a, um, a powerlifting gym and run the whole meet ourselves, you know, and being able to build up to that point where we're self-sufficient on our own. That's exactly where I feel like we want all of us to go as a team. So just being a family and just taking powerlifting seriously in a way that's fun for everybody, but also this is a team that competes and we're competitive and we want to go to nationals and we want to bring as many people. And I think our goal is to just keep bringing more people to nationals and grow this team as much as we can. That's amazing. Do you see yourselves coming back and just still being part of the community and keeping in touch with everybody that's, that's still on the club? Because you said it's like a family. 100%, yeah. I think, yeah. I mean, Albert, he's one of our coaches. He came back at last year. He graduated and he didn't want to leave, you know, Aww. and so he's here helping us coach or, you know, coach us and handle us at meets and he's been a really big help and I think that kind of pushes all of us to be able to come back, visit and help anybody if we can and still be involved in some way or another. That's amazing. I definitely feel that and I think that's such a huge testament to the culture that you guys are building in the Powerlifting Club and like I said, it's a relatively new sport club here on campus and there's only, it's only up from here for you guys. Um, so. Just going forward, is there any advice if somebody's watching this interview and they're super intrigued to join but they don't really know where to start, is there any advice that you would give to encourage them to join the powerlifting club or maybe even start powerlifting on their own? Absolutely. <laughs> Reach out to us. And 
we have our Instagram at CSUSM Powerlifting, our email, um, and so many ways that we would love speaking to people, people just coming out. And we are out here like four days a week at least. Um, and getting involved in powerlifting, like the internet is our best friend. Um, there's so many programs for beginners and so many options with that. Like the school gym is a honestly a really great place to start it's where a lot of us got started with our powerlifting career so being able to just like just go to the gym that day one and just actually going in and having a goal whether it's to come on the team eventually or just powerlift or just be better and healthier human if you want to um just just start is really like what advice i would give to someone that wants to wants to do that i love that and is there anything else that you guys think I may have missed? Oh, just so for the Cougars know, where do you guys practice? How many days out of the week do you guys practice so they know where to find you? We practice here at the Clark Field House out here on the terrace. We practice this semester. We practice uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays from 4.30 to 6.30. Uh, next semester should be about the same, but okay. that could change. But as of now, it's going to be about the same. Perfect. And then with the new year and the new semester, do you guys hold new tryouts just in case people are graduating or leaving? Yes, we will be holding uh, spring tryouts. Uh, should be um, a couple weeks after the spring semester starts. Okay. We'll post that on our Instagram so that anyone can see um, see the dates and all that stuff. Awesome. Okay, and then do you want to just plug your Instagram or any of your social media handles so the Cougars know where to find you guys? Uh, CSU Sun Powerlifting. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they're right there. <laughs> Love that. Well, is there anything else that you guys want to share that I may have missed? Or any last words? Oh, I just say thank you for coming out here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is thank awesome. Thank you, you guys. guys. This is so amazing. And you Cougars, you know where to find them. Come out to the Clark Field House at the Terrace. Thanks, guys. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs>